Hey guys, it's Shelby, otherwise known as Shelbizzle here on YouTube, and I am so, so excited. Like, I literally just want to do like a little jiggy dance because I am going to Portland. It is like the number one city I have wanted to go to for so, so long, and it's finally happening, and I'm so pumped about it. But in today's video, I thought that I would kind of vlog this experience at least a little bit. So I'm going to pack with you guys. I know a lot of people love minimalist packing tips, and I'm not the best minimalist, but I definitely think I can do traveling very minimally. I think I got that on lock. Um, and then I'll also show you how I'm going to maintain zero waste through the airport, how I'm going to pack for that sort of thing. And yeah, just some cool things that I see in Portland I'll probably include in this vlog. So I'm going to Portland with Madison. Uh, her work is actually having like a workshop in Portland. That's why she's going. And they said they didn't mind if I came along. And then we decided to extend our stay beyond what they're doing and get an Airbnb. So we'll stay there for a few more days and I'll get to go to Canada. Beach, which is like so fucking exciting. I've never wanted to do anything more in my life um, So then Madison will leave Portland before me and after that I will go to Seattle because I'll be collabing with someone very special You'll see that soon. Who do you think it is any guesses? Let me know and um, Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm so pumped I just I cannot express how excited I am, but let's go ahead and start packing um, I will show you what I'll be taking Wow, we just got so dark. Okay, there we go. A little bit better. Okay, so since you saw my house tour, this is, um, oh, my laptop's up there now. This is uh, the dresser that we bought for the next house, but it's here now, so I've been storing my uh, bag underneath it. So I want to tell you, oh my God, a little bit about this bag. Okay, so fun fact, I actually don't own any luggage. The luggage that we have in our house that we have is really Madison's, and she has one huge suitcase, like, astronomically huge like as big as my couch size and then she has one that's like a regular size that you would use for like a week or two week type of trip or maybe not most people would use but what we would use for like you know anything over a couple days but since we're both going on this trip together we're leaving at the same time and then separating I kind of had to get my own little suitcase situation something to pack my clothes in you get what I'm saying so I actually got this bag right here this is not sponsored no one's paying me to do this I always have to say that I feel um, but this bag is made by a company called remember me green and this bag is actually made from recycled billboards in New York uh, so it is handmade ethically made in New York and it's do you see how big this is like it's pretty ginormous it's big but I think that the average consumer would think it's crazy to take two weeks worth of clothes in said bag and I'm just about to prove everybody wrong and show you how you do it okay so we're gonna do that and then there's also like I just got these in the mail so that one is uh, the weekender bag weekender bag that's gonna be my two weeks bag and then I also got a cosmetics bag because I needed a new one my other one has a bunch of tears in it and things keep falling out of it I just needed a new one so they're also this is also made from billboards and I'm just so excited about this she writes it here this bag was an actual NYC billboard so it is a company made by um, a woman. It's a woman-owned company, handmade in New York from recycled materials. It's a very, very cool idea. So I'm super excited to have this in my hands, to be packing with it, and to be showing you guys. So that's what we're gonna do. Pack cosmetics and stuff into here. I also need to get a stasher bag for liquids because you have to put um, liquids in a stasher bag whenever, or not in a stasher bag, in some form of clear bag whenever you travel. I just don't use single-use plastic bags, so I'm gonna use a stasher bag. And then this, and I also have packing cubes, which I've never used before, but I'm going to attempt to use them this time and see if they really help or not. I don't know, people say that they're really good, and I've seen a lot of people use them, so we're gonna find that out. Okay, I'm gonna go round up all my clothes and then show you how I'm packing them, and then we'll head to the airport to go to Portland. All right, guys, so <laughs> I'll say it again. Let's get packing. Basically what I did is I took my packing cubes and I sorted them into three separate things. I packed shirts, I packed jackets, and then I packed bottoms and like uh, underwear in the same one. So I only packed this many shirts. That one was done. That was an easy no brainer because those are the shirts I wear most often and can be layered with things like you see here. My denim shirt, my rain jacket, a plaid, and my Patagonia jacket. I packed the basics and made sure to be 
prepared for the rain because that's all anyone told me is it rains a lot in Portland. Then I just packed leggings because that's my life. I packed underwear and I packed my socks. I do have a link to sustainable lingerie brands. I'll link it in the description. Um, a list of all the ones that I know of. If you want to check that out for socks or underwear, definitely check it out. And then I packed those into my bag with my Burks. That made it seem like that was so simple and so easy. I guess it kind of was. Um, but then I went ahead and moved on to my cosmetic bag, which I packed just the essentials. I didn't want to pack too much stuff, so I packed um, my eyeshadow palette from Elate. I packed my bronzer from Faraday Face. I'll link all this stuff in the description so you guys don't um, ask. And then I did Elate, my eyebrow, my eyeliner, and my mascara. A few brushes, not too many. And then I went with solids for my shampoo and my soap so that I didn't have to worry about liquids in the airport. Um, Madison also packed our toothy tab so that was in her bag but I also packed my bamboo toothbrush went ahead and put it back in its cardboard box so it didn't get all icky in my makeup bag and I could not figure out how to pack my makeup remover I was gonna put it in this bag but then I figured it would probably get everywhere I ended up not bringing it actually I just left it at home uh, and then that's all the stuff that went into my carry-on bag but then my personal item bag you know my backpack I had to clean it out first you don't want to take a bunch of stuff to the airport that you don't need so I cleaned out everything I didn't need and before uh, I've actually gone to the airport and had stuff in my bag that's not allowed through TSA and like didn't know it was in there so yeah definitely go through whatever bag you're packing um, so then I packed my laptop and then my utensil set I normally keep metal utensils in here like a metal fork but I didn't know how TSA would feel about that so I replaced it with this little like plastic utensils thing I've had forever um, a water bottle whenever you take a water bottle through TSA just make sure it's empty and they will let you bring it and then once you get through TSA you can fill it up and so you can avoid plastic bottles like while you're waiting on your plane and also on the plane I also brought my planner can't forget the planner my headphones they're by a brand called House of Marley and they collapse like this so they get pretty small to fit into my bag even though they're kind of big I always bring a reusable container for leftovers anywhere I go and then I brought a portable charger because I will be driving from Portland to Seattle um, reusable bags reusable produce bags I don't go anywhere without those this trip is no exception uh, chapstick sunscreen and then everything I got is like collapsible so my collapsible bags this is my collapsible straw by final straw um, I love this thing so so much you guys always ask me where to get them and actually earth hero sells them now so again nothing in this video is sponsored but I will leave a link to it in the description and you can get 15% off and I'll leave all of that in the description for you it just pops out like this it's so convenient it's literally my favorite thing but anyway, then I also packed all my camera batteries. That's important. I brought my DSLR and my vlog camera, so I need batteries for both of those. I really wanted to bring my zoom lens, but I talked myself out of it to be more minimal. So I only brought two lenses for my camera while I'm traveling and then um, a, ba a battery bank. This is like so essential, I feel. Um, and that's it. It, it kind of looks like a lot but it's really just my essentials. And then I also packed a lot of stuff into my to-go container for me to take. So like the collapsible bags, my portable charger, all those sort of things, you can pack them up so that they're more compact and you don't have to worry about losing all that space. Also, don't mind my singing. <laughs> Five twenty-five a.m. Madison's acting like a hitchhiker. <laughs> skidding our bag, skidding. I had added a coffee cup to my bag, and now I can't zip it. But yellow, it's fine. What the? Oh my god! In my backpack, we're making it work. Here we go. So I already mentioned to you that it is essential to bring your reusable water bottle through the airport but make sure it's empty and you'll have no issues getting through TSA and then immediately once you get through TSA you can head to any of the little like shops inside the airport and ask them to fill up your water bottle. Now some of them might tell you no but you just keep asking until someone tells you yes and they'll fill up your water bottle and then when you're on the plane and they're asking you do you want a soda? Do you want a water? You have you don't have to say yes because they actually take plastic bottles of water 
water and pour them into plastic cups. So definitely want to avoid that. And then as far as air airport food goes, it's no bueno. So I packed a bunch of berries in one of our reusable silicone stasher bags and you can bring food through TSA. I don't know if a lot of people know this. Madison thought you couldn't, but you absolutely can. As long as it's not liquid, they won't give you any crap about it. And then you don't have to worry about getting any of their food on the airplane that will come in packaging. It's also usually typically not good and expensive. So then we went and headed and took the light rail into Portland, which I really, really love. I got some coffee in my reusable cup and then we headed downtown and it's so exciting. I'm so excited to be in Portland. I've always wanted to come here. So let me know if you guys have any special requests for videos while I'm here. I'll also talk more about carbon offsetting in my next travel vlog. I was going to do it here, but I think I'll do it whenever I actually order the stuff, which will be later towards the end of my trip. So remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do.